So I recently went to Chiller Theater and here is my experience. When I first walked up, I saw this, I believe it's the Batmobile, and then I saw this car over here. I'm not too familiar, I believe it's Grease and Batman that those are from. Uh, in the main hall, they had some celebrities, they also had some refreshments, they had this food out here. I didn't see too many people buying some food, which is a shame because the ladies out there were really nice. And of course, we had some awesome dogs. You gotta love seeing some dogs at these things. Um, I don't see too many of them often, uh, as often as I'd like to. I wish these places were filled with dogs, but that's just me. So, uh, looking through this room, this was the main vendor room. Uh, this is where I spent most of my time. I didn't care too much about the celebrities that were going. Uh, I normally don't. I normally don't care too much. I mean, I do care, but to sit in a long line to just to pay someone to take a picture with them, it just feels weird to me right now, and, and I just don't feel excited enough to do that. So currently I kind of hang out in the vendor rooms most of the times when I go to these conventions because I like seeing all the different artists and the small business. Don't get me wrong, there's plenty of people selling just, you know, knockoff BS crap, but there's also uh, just as many genuine artists and small businesses out here. So I really like to see what they have in store. One of the first small businesses that I stopped at was this artist here who had this very uh uh i don't know trippy alice in wonderlandy i don't even know how to describe it it was like a i'm blanking on the art style or the artist that that uh i can think of but it, it was it was really cool stuff um i love i loved her setup so i just wanted to show it off a little bit this is her information if you're interested in checking her out please do but she, yeah, she had this very cool, like, Tim Burton-y kind of, um, Hollow Knight. I don't, I don't even know how to describe it, but it was just this gothic, cartoonish, surreal, I don't even know, uh, almost like, uh, kind of reminded me of Where the Wild Things Are, almost, a little bit, too. It, it just felt like it was inspired by so many different things, such, such a cool, unique style. Next up, I stopped at Little Replicants. Uh, this was cool. They were handmade clay figures. She had all different types of designs. There were Beetlejuice ones. There was an Exorcist one. Uh, I really, really liked them all. It was, it was really tough to pick a favorite. The uh, attention to detail on all of them was really, really awesome. And this was one of the more unique booths that I saw. I don't know how many other people were making clay figures. Here are some of the Beetlejuice ones, the Evil Dead one. I mean, they're just, they just looked really awesome. So I just wanted to stop and show this booth a little love. And after that, I stopped at Vinegar Syndrome. I've never seen Vinegar Syndrome before. I've never been on their website or anything until after the convention, but I've heard so many things about them from Red Letter Media. So finally getting to see them in person, see all the awesome artwork on all the slip covers, which is just such a huge selling point for these films. I mean, so many people go in doing blind buys from Vinegar Syndrome. Uh, and I think most of that is really just because the artwork that they have on these slipcovers is really awesome, really unique, and I loved this vendor so much that since the convention I actually have bought a handful of things, and I even bought one Blu-ray while I was at the convention. If you can guess what it is, well then, I'll pin your comment. I watched it and it was so good. I loved it, it was hilarious. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, uh, moving on, we had this t-shirt vendor. I believe I've seen this guy at multiple uh, conventions. He has a lot of variety of t-shirts, some really unique designs as well. Uh, if, you're, if you're looking for t-shirts, I think this guy had the most at this chiller theater. Uh, it, it, it was really really awesome selection i was tempted to buy a couple of them but I, I opted against it because i was trying to save some money so i actually just ended up buying that one blu-ray from vinegar syndrome 
and I also bought a couple of things from the next vendor that I am going to be walking up to right about now. This is an awesome vendor. This guy named Sean, he, uh, he takes care of old, forgotten, uh, obscure titles from VHS and he, he puts them on DVD so he can preserve them. I believe it stands for VHS Preservation Society or Service or something like that. I believe it's Society. Uh, but uh, yeah, he does a great job and he has a lot to choose from a lot of different DVDs and he was selling them for $10 a piece Which was pretty awesome because there were a handful of these movies that I've seen uh, On best of the worst he had a bunch of them from best of the worst and that was really cool to see because I'm a huge red letter media fan So I actually ended up picking up two DVDs from him. I bought two DVDs from him If you can guess what the movies are that I bought from him, I will let you know if you are correct in the comments. I'm excited to check them out. I show both of them in this video, so if you can guess which two DVDs I picked up from VHSPS correctly, I will let you know if you are correct in the comments. But that's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And that's it. I, I really got to come up with a better outro for these videos because it's really just like, all right, so I'll see you later. And that's it. But yeah, that's it. <laughs>